Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I have decided starting now through continual motion as there's a lot going on across the world and here as well. I try to stay away from people. The last three or four days I have really started to tone down any kind of interaction or being around large groups but I'm gonna step it up a notch and just solitude more or less now granted there is traffic going by I will you know be in the general area of people but keeping my distance that means I'll be wandering around some areas that are desolate and the likes of those types of subject matters I'm east of St. Cloud, Florida, where I will be wandering off this closed road back into the woods. I have a few few places I'm going to be stopping. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Doing what I can and my little part when it comes to distancing. Gonna find some relics. Those trees provide some pretty cool ambiance. <gasps> I thought that was a snake. That's cool. There are some pamphlets, little tourist info pamphlets. Weather worn. Oh, look at that beam of light shining through the window. The dust particles. I believe this was a campground at one point. In fact, you still have the little, the little station here. See the remnants there in the wood, in the woods, I should say, for power for your RV. Quite a bit has been torn down. Used to be a structure here at one at one point. Right off of the thoroughfare. You hear the traffic going by. I continue on stopped off for a moment at the miracle chapel this place has sat empty and in this condition for years and years if not 
if not decades. For a very short time frame, there was an ongoing restoration that was taking place, but that has not happened in quite some time. So here it sits. Notice how these cows in the field are all abiding by the six foot. Wait, don't get too close. Six feet. Okay, you're still six feet. Ah, getting closer. Ah. These cross streets make up Deer Park, a very, very teeny tiny community with not a whole heck of a lot left founded to provide homes for workers of the logging and mill operation. Consisted of a post office, two general stores, a hotel, boarding houses, churches, and two schools. Also, the road I'm about to turn upon back in 1964 was dedicated to George H. Kempfer, who passed away in 1962. And this placard sits here in his honor. Check out this one random tree to the right there with no leaves, no foliage, just its bark and stems. Enjoying the shade? Just getting out of the sun, I don't blame you. It's toasty out here. Okay, see ya. See you later. Take care. A bunch of citrus trees off to the left here. Row after row after row. Need that vitamin C. Wild turkeys and the weeds. I see you in there. Oh, whoa, some bigger ones crossing. I've always wanted to know why did the chicken cross the road, but why did the turkey also do so? We'll never know. Heavy duty power lines out here. Power lines that most don't see. If you've always wondered if only attractions are where all the alligators are congregated, that is not true. There are, there's a, a congregation of them right down, right down there over the side of this bridge. Coming up to say hello. Do you usually fish from this spot? Mm -hmm. Do you usually fish from this spot? I used to fish over on that side. 
but hell, it got so bad over here, you could keep a fish, they'd come and snap it. Four, five. Definitely breeding season, springtime. Six. Going after it. What was that? Piece of something laying there. They're coming here. You wouldn't want to jump in and go fishing or swimming. No, I don't want to. I, I'm abiding by the rules on that sign. Says no jumping off bridge. <laughs> I see the guy on TV once. Here about a month or two ago, he was doing one of them reality shows. He got down in a, a waller with a, he's showing this guy, he says, here's how you get rid of a gator. He got down right where his head was just above the water and was going straight up and about, that alligator got about two feet away and he jumped up and jumped up out of the water and stuck his hands up. He said, as long as you make yourself look bigger, they'll go away. Which would be my luck, I'd get a four ton gator. I've seen that spillway up there when it had water coming out of it after the hurricane. Just chatted with a local gentleman about this structure, which I have never seen in operation. And there is nothing on the opposite side as far as water goes. You can see there's plenty here. On this side, but the other side is just all grass and foliage and woods. It has been rumored that it was part of the Florida Canal project that was scrapped many, many years ago. But his philosophy has makes more sense for floods during hurricanes. I would imagine there's probably, probably some gators down in there as well. The occasional vehicle does cruise down this road, but they are few and far between. And there are vultures circling. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. No rush. Notice how those birds are just hanging around the horses. They're all friends. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. You take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode and would like to see more along this subject matter, away from crowds, but still staying active and finding things to do, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.